Donald Trump told Chuck Todd his immigration plan for undocumented immigrants, and it's hilarious. The executive order gets uh, rescinded. One good thing you'll about rescind, you'll rescind that one too. One good thing you'll about you'll rescind the Dream Act executive you're order. You're going to have to. DACA. We have to make a whole new set of standards. And when people come in, they have so to come in. You're going to split up like, families. Chuck, you're going to deport children. Chuck, no, no, we're going to keep the families together. We have to keep the families together. But you're going to keep but them they together. Have to out. Go. But they have to go. What if they have no place to go? We will work with them. They have to go. Chuck, and we either have a country or we don't have a country. All undocumented immigrants have to go. All of them. 11 million people have to be deported. There are some websites that are calling this, I think it was Crooks and Liars had an article, like, oh, fascist immigration policy. Yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. It's pretty accurate. Hey, Donald, your workers are undocumented. Many of your workers are undocumented. In fact, I forget uh, who it was that did the article, but recently a press outlet went and spoke to the, uh, Donald Trump's undocumented immigrants who are working for him. And they're like, yeah, man, I think it's fucked up what he said about Mexicans. <laughs> what a ridiculous human being he is. Get rid of all of them. Well, why don't you start with getting rid of all the ones that you employ? How about you start with that? How about you start by saying, well, look, I'm always talking about how I want the, the white Americans to get the job. So, okay, fire the undocumented immigrants that are working for you and hire white people and see how that goes. By the way, uh, there is a red state. I forget which one. It may be Alabama that actually tried this, that implemented Donald Trump's idea of just get rid of all the undocumented immigrants. Uh, you know what happened? They wanted them back immediately. Vice News did a fantastic report on this. It was on uh, their HBO show where they were like, well, the idea in theory was get rid of all the undocumented immigrants and then you'll have unemployed white people, unemployed black people come in, uh, learn how to do the work, and then everything will be okay. It just didn't happen. The white people and the black people were like, we'll pass. And think about the amount of money that, you know, they were... They were being paid, well, obviously they should pay them at least a minimum wage, and we should raise the minimum wage. But bottom line, they were paying the undocumented immigrants significantly less, and then all the Americans, when the, when the, the job openings happened, the Americans looked at it and they were like, I'm not doing that back-breaking work for that little pay. So they tried to implement your policy, Don, and they immediately were like, oh my god, we don't have enough people to do the work that we need to do. And so they wanted to bring back the undocumented immigrants. And they even spoke to some, like, conservative people who ran farms and stuff, and they were like, you know, I'll tell you, man, the work ethic of the white people is not good compared to the Hispanics and the immigrants. It was an amazing show to watch, by the way. I recommend that to everybody. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It was uh, on Vice on HBO. Um, and bottom line, Donald, the economy would collapse. If we took 11 million undocumented immigrants, as he's calling for here, and just shipped them out, the economy would collapse. Now, understand, I've spoken about this time and time again. I'm actually a moderate on the issue of immigration. So what do I mean by that? I mean that my beliefs are a mix of both the far left and the far right uh, when it comes to immigration. So what I would do is I would grant amnesty to all undocumented immigrants that are already here, all of them. Every single one. I'd grant them amnesty, full citizenship. Then you set up a, a process for legal immigration uh, when we want to allow legal immigrants in again. So that, But that's the far left aspect of it. So amnesty for everybody. But then what I would do, here's where the far right comes in. I would say, okay, well, from here on out, you do deport anybody who comes over the border and you catch, and, and you catch them. So if somebody comes over and you catch them and they're trying to get somewhere else and, you know, in order to start a new life or whatever, sorry, but you could either have a welfare state and have borders or have no borders and don't have a welfare state. Now, I believe in a welfare state. I believe in a, a social safety net. So because I believe in that, you can't just have open borders or, or else the system would collapse. You can't have a system that functions that way if you have open borders. So that's why I said I'm a moderate. But here's the thing, man, where he parts from that logic is he says, not only do you not allow any more undocumented immigrants in, take all the ones that are already here and are already part of the economy and ship them all out. But that will lead to an economic collapse. That will lead to disastrous consequences. That's just not something that's functional. It's not going to work if you try to do that. But again, we go back to what Donald Trump is. It's not about what actually works. It's not about what makes sense. It's about, he's a very simple dude 
who thinks in sound bites and speaks in sound bites. And this is something that the base absolutely loves about him. So you have some people in Arkansas and Kentucky who are just like, ah, yeah, fucking legals. And then Donald Trump goes out there and basically says that only in a slightly more sophisticated way. And they go, I'm going to vote for that guy. Oh, we got to get rid of the illegals. That's what we got to do. They, or else we don't have a country. Got to get rid of them. And Red State America goes, oh, yes, yes, fuck the illegals. I'm going to beat off now. Donald, say more anti-immigrant stuff.